Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. The materials I'm using today and the equipment are in the description box below and most of them have links. So I'm so excited. I went to a garage sale. I got six of these. Look at the thick bottoms on that. So they're pretty heavy. Then I got these. I got two. Those are going to be fun. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but today I'm going to do the bubbles and um, kind of going to do them like I did in video 55 where I go ahead and get everything dried down and go from there. So uh, let's go for that. Um, I'm putting down the basic a little different. I'll probably do more of a pastel colors just like video 55, but until then, I'm going to do it like this. So, just put down some colors. Ooh, what do I want to do? Let's do yellow. Didn't really mean to do primary. I have purple and green sitting over here, but sometimes they do some crazy colors, so I may just do some green there. Maybe a little purple here. But for the most part, I'm going to let the red, yellow, and blue make my other colors. So, I'm going to do this and just kind of space them out a little bit. I don't know if this is doing anything good or bad or what, but... I'll probably still go ahead and take the dryer and just get this dry. Okay, kind of like that, uh arrangement. So let me go ahead, try not to blow it around too much. Oh, I hit you. Sorry. I'm trying to keep the purple and yellow part. They don't play well. Okay, I am really liking this. Let me get all of it dried. I don't like that. Let me see if I can mess that just a little bit without messing it up. Which I think I did. So I'll put a I'll put a bubble there. Okay. So that is that. Um I didn't get too messy. Okay. Alright. So this is how I typically do that I have the most success out of bubbles um, is I take this and um, put some alcohol down here 
kind of rub it around just a little bit. Uh, then I'm gonna just go ahead and just do this spot. I put some alcohol down, put this on top of that, and hopefully if I put just enough, it just gets to the edges of the uh, glass here. Okay, so my granddaughter just came in, so she's over her paint beside me. Huh? Yeah. She's getting to be a whiz at this. All right, so let me get my bearings back. I thought he's gone in here. And I said, Wheezy, where are you? Wheezy. All right, so there's that, and I'm going to put one right here. That's, that'll be some pretty color. Let that just kind of activate the ink underneath the glass and get all the way to the edges. And then if it starts coming out or anything, I just kind of get that dried. But other than that, I just let it do its thing for a minute. Now pick it up, kind of draw up underneath it. Now. I want that a little more defined, so I'm going to put this alcohol and run my glass rim through it. I'm going to dab it off because I don't want it too much. And reestablish that circle. Kind of like that. There we go. Now another one. Let's do right here. I'm going to put the alcohol on this. It just reestablishes that circle that makes it a little wider. Whiter. And this one I may have pulled off too soon, but it's doing okay. And I can reestablish that circle by putting the alcohol on the shot glass again.
guess you can be markers. You want to do it on this? Okay. <laughs> Pick whatever one you want. Okay, I'm going to put some of this oh. alcohol down here. Run this in it. Dab it off a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little circle here. Keep your bottle tops and put the alcohol on that. You can use your little stylist. This still had some blue on it from before, but it's going to come off. I like your shoes. I like them. Can I do that? Mm-hmm. I'll finish this one and we'll do one. Was Pascal watching you do it? Pascal is watching me. He's just eating your pictures. <laughs> he was doing like this. He can't stand up very good. Oh no, Pascal can't stand up. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to make little straight lines. Union star, like with, with the rainbow. Yes, that looks like a rainbow. And with the shooting star. A rainbow with the shooting star. That's awesome. Daddy's outside. I know, and my house is so noisy. We may have to do this another time. <laughs> it's getting a little difficult. I never saw you doing that before. I hadn't used this before, but one other time, and I'm having such a fun time. <laughs> so we're going to keep doing this and see how this turns out. This may never make it. On the other hand, it just might. Who knows? Right? Mm-hmm. Now... We're going to put some, how about blue bubbles? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Blue bubbles are good? Mm -hmm. Let's put blue bubbles over here in this. Well, that looks like an ocean. An ocean? That's awesome. We can get that ocean going, can't we? We stop walking here. That must be Calac. 
My house is busy and waking up and noisy. Well, while we're on a roll, we're going to go ahead and finish. <laughs> then we just might have to voice over. What do you think? Yeah? Um, when, when you're done with that, can we go outside for a little bit and check on my cake? We can. We absolutely can. Get another top. Put my pink in I, it. I can look at it real fast and I'll come back inside. Is that a great idea? You wait on me. I'll go out with you. Okay. Okay. Look. Look out, Pascal. He's turning it up. Hey, Pascal. You know he can't talk, but he, but when when he doesn't get something, he yeah. cries. Oh no. That's that's why he wants Logan. When Logan cries, he he wants Pascal because he eats side he likes my Pascal. Oh my goodness. If if Pasco goes outside, mm -hmm. he'll turn into a fire. Oh dear! Then we have to go back inside and turn into gold. That's good. Would you like that? <laughs> okay. So hopefully, oh, I know what else I want to do. I want to use a marker. And I'm going to take this piece of paper with the straight edge. <laughs> you colored on it. And I, I did color on it. <laughs> I'm going to make some lines. Let's see, where do I want lines at? Let's do something like right here. I'm going to put them here. And here. And there. There. Nah, not showing up great. Hmm. That's why you. That's why you used a lot of pink. I did. I used a lot of pink, but I'm gonna look at my swatch here. And I'm gonna find me some more colors. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Ju ju ju. That one may do. Ah, uh, what number was that? Twelve. No, it was a 12. You put it somewhere. I put it somewhere. Yeah, but you don't remember. I don't remember. I can't find it. 12, 12, 12. Is this one 12? No, that's not 12. Maybe it's not where I thought it was. I thought I had them all blues together. I need to sit down somewhere. I don't have a chair. Oh, it's 72. That's why I can't find it. It's not 12, it's 72. I colored over my part. All right. Let's come over here. Um, Let's do that. Does that look good? Mm -hmm. Come down a little I bit can more. See it. I can see it too. I think that's a good choice. Yeah. Why are you making lines? Just to do something different. To have fun. I think maybe I you might can, do something like that. Maybe you can get my mommy that one. Oh, you think your mommy like that one? Yeah, because she likes rainbows a lot. I will and have I, to do and, that. And I made her a castle on my house. Mm -hmm. It's pink. Pink? Oh, my. I just made it with paper. And, and I put some tape on there so it won't fall off. Mommy really likes it. Well, you're such a good little artist. Of course she likes it. Yeah. She likes everything that I color and, and make a castle. That is so nice. Maybe I can make you a castle when it's your birthday. Okay. I want a castle when it's my birthday. How about that? Yeah. What's more, 
What color do you want on there? Purple Ooh. or pink or blue? Or How orange? about purple? Okay. Well, do you remember I can use that thing like like you bought for me? Mm-hmm. Like the like the lot of papers. Oh yeah. Yeah. I have dark purple, light purple. All kinds of different colors on it. All different colors. Mommy. Mommy's. Mommy's one is pink. Because she likes pink and purple. So I'll have a purple castle. Mommy will have a pink castle. Are we going to live beside each other? Yeah. Okay. Well, when it's my birthday, you can make a castle with me. You I will. just have to do like this, like this, and make tour like this, mm -hmm. and this, and the other side with one, two, one over here, two over here, and one over here. You can make a castle when it's my birthday, but my birthday is going to light up. You have to use paper. I'll say All right. Yeah. I'll say how so, to huh, I hope that gave you some good ideas. Did it give you good ideas? It did. Just to get out and play. Because we like to play, don't we? Yeah. Can we go outside? I think that would be awesome. Yes, let's go outside. <laughs> well, this has been so different. I just need to stop for me. So, geez. Y'all just go have fun and, and pull these kids in and teach them this. This is fun. So, thanks for joining. If you like this, go ahead and hit uh, the subscribe button. And there's a little bell if you want to get notified. You can click it. And uh, we'll see y'all later. All right. See, I told you there was more. This has been the craziest video I think I've ever made. So anyway, we did go outside. We played. We checked on her marble a cake that they put in one of my, they just put a bunch of marbles together, in one of my bird baths. So that was the cake we had to check on. Ended up having a nice day with family. So it was, it was a good day. But now I'm back to this because I looked at it and I decided there's so much more I could do. There's more space to do things in. So... I have decided to go even more bubbles. So I'm taking my stylist. I am taking straight ink or alcohol, whatever. I'm just putting colors and colors and colors. And what I'm trying to do is put a color that's not in that area. So I've been putting the blue and the red in the yellow. And then the yellow and, and blue or something in the purple. So I'm trying to do that. And I've come back twice now. And started working on this and I think I even worked a little bit on it after I had finished filming so stay tuned to the very end picture and it'll show some more things in the pink because it just looked a little empty over there so I just I just play just whatever you think of look around I see you know a palette knife or I see something that I can play with Dip it in alcohol, dip it in ink, put it on there, or take it away. One or the other. Tons of fun. So I ended up putting a new, uh, a new, another bubble in here. It just, there was something, like I say, in that space when I walked back to it, my eye went to it and like there needs to be something there. So uh, I did another one. I'm not thrilled with having even numbers, but I got over it. So I've just started embellishing. Just putting little lines in there um, with either the ink or the alcohol, uh, putting more circles, getting things, looking around at things I had that I could run through the ink. Now over here to the right, you can see that white, little white part of the palette. Um, I've just squirt the, the inks directly on it, the alcohol directly on it, and run the rim of the glass in it or the rim of whatever I'm using in it. And that's really handy. So you may want to try that little trick um, with a plate or you know something like that. I've even used paper because it takes a minute to dry up so I can get if I just want something a little just put it on a piece of paper and run a rim through it. So here I've got my clear marker. Love these things and never knew what you really could use them for until I saw somebody removing color and I'm like I never would have thought of that. So here I'm going to give these bubbles their shine, their, their reflection of the light 
and so my light's coming from the left so that's going to be the brighter part of my bubble and so I just go through and I'm removing this ink and I put one line along the um, edge of the bubble and then I put one a little closer in to really look like it's reflecting some light uh, maybe from a couple sources so do that that really brings those bubbles out and it really makes it a really cool uh, looking picture be sure and check out the end for the final picture because i did add some things on after i finished filming So what I like about this type picture is that you can do as much as you want to. You can do a little bit and it's going to look great. Or you can keep adding layers and adding more interesting things to look at. And it'll get even better and better. So go out there and have fun. Look around and see what you already have in your home that you can use. And it's just a lot of fun to run away with your imagination on this. I really appreciate y'all watching and I appreciate the feedback. It helps me make better videos for y'all. And if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. A bell will appear and you can customize your notifications if you want any. So thank you and y'all go have fun.